radar. It's so sickening to you. The thought of alcohol, like you're literally like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I can't drink is the last thing. It'd be like doing four shots of vodka at like 7 a.m. when you woke up and you're not an alcoholic. Like, it's just like, you're like, what? Yeah, no, I, I could see it being used for that. So, you know, I, we we are often accused of being insensitive on mm -hmm. this podcast. So I, I, are. I think that sobriety is not linear. I, I hope, you know, if Leah was wronged, she should... She's moving forward. And I just think that was a crazy claim for Andy to say, unless he's coming for her with a lawsuit. So it will be interesting to see over the next couple of weeks. They're, I'm sure they're having a lot of talks. The attorneys are. That's what they do. And then, of course, they send us the bill. No offense to you, David, but uh, the attorneys always win. Always, uh, honey. I don't practice you know, anymore. And by the way. I, I can't. I, I hate it. They, they're forever. I mean, you you call your attorney to let them know you're mailing them something and they fucking charge you. It's like, ugh. Give me Correct. a break. They always win. They're always charging you. They always want to, not always want to get you on the phone, but you know, you, whatever. And by the way, I'm not on Leah's side. I've said horrible things about Leah on this podcast, but if Andy does sue Leah, I mean, let's all stay calm. That doesn't mean anything. That means literally nothing. Like in a way, I would expect her to be sued after making this statement. I mean, he has deep pockets, but well, that's the thing, right? It's often a way to just bankrupt somebody is to just counter sue, counter sue, keep she it going. Ain't paying, because... She ain't paying anything, and that's what I go back to. I was speaking to another yeah. person in the Bravo world who's a lawyer who's been on the TV, and yeah, I mean, a, a, again, a lawyer does not take a contingent case unless they see money, period, the end. So I yeah. do believe yeah. that this lawyer is out for money and will get some. And I don't know what that proves. Look, I think the bigger question is, are there more lawsuits? Is this really the downfall of Andy? And everyone says, Bravo is Andy. Andy is Bravo. It, the network can't exist. Listen, it, you get enough there and it's enough. Not, look, I don't think Andy's in trouble at this moment. Like I think he's in a unique situation, but I just think, you know, stranger things have happened. You know what I mean? You get enough of an avalanche. Yeah. And it's not a good thing, but I'm not, you know, it's like, I, I can't see how this is go. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. I mean, he's out the other night <laughs> doing shots with Bruce Bozzi. You know, I, I just think, responding i don't know i don't know if i'd be making all these statements if i were him and his lawyer i would just keep it quiet for now it's just me right it's, it's fascinating we shouldn't live our lives in fear but i don't know i just i, I really don't know how this is going to turn out i think yeah I think, and on. he's so good so good i think so that good. is there more lawsuits are they really coming and i really think the more that well, you've I got see, rachel maybe Rachel, but that's not really against him. And I just, I think now is, I'm not so worried about Andy's future at Bravo, but I, my one eye is open and I'm like, hmm, hmm, okay. I'm taking note, right? Last topic, yes. John and Alexis Bellino on the red carpet, John Jansen, what'd oh, you make? Girl. Talking about their rela relationship and commenting on if Shannon was okay. And they said, you got to ask Shannon now. We don't, we don't know. We're not out here to hurt her. But at some point, it's not about Shannon. And they said they see a future together, that they think they're moving forward, moving in. There could be an engagement, could be a wedding on Bravo. What do you make of the, they actually kind of look good together? Listen. I don't mind it. I don't know. Lauren Conrad ended her friendship with Heidi Montag over Spencer Pratt. And we all said, what are you doing? He's a bad guy. Here we are, decades later, and Spidey is so in love, and they have Gunner, and they have an extended family, and they have a new child, and I mean, look. Their boys are so cute. And TJ Holmes, Spencer. maybe that's still going well. I don't know. I mean, could this just be two fame whores just being fame whores together, and it's so good? Yeah, but you know what? Like you said, they say they're in love, and I mean, look at Everyone said Teresa and Louie. I mean, Teresa ain't leaving Louie and he ain't leaving Teresa anytime in this century, unless he's taken away for bad acts. They're together. So this could be, I'm not so convinced that John Jansen and Alexis are not going to work out long-term. I'm not so convinced of it. I see a future where these two could last. Yep. 
Me too. Love, I love it. Uh, Mr. Yontif, I'm loving you and leaving. Ooh. What We covered it all. I, I think we we got it all. We covered it all, you guys, again, in some long episodes. And uh, don't get used to it. And- uh, Are you going to stop talking, please? You love to chat. You love to chat. Yeah, but the clock is ticking, honey. And I, I got to pay. We got a ton of work to I got to pay the rent, so to speak. Oh, and we got to do our, I got to do my taxes. Ugh. Oh, it's not good. Don't live in New York and don't live in LA, people. Yeah, I know. It's too late. Money. Florida, Vegas. Texas. Wait, with Texas, like more. Yeah, I think Texas is. Uh, there's no income tax. No. The Carolinas, right? Aren't these like we better do, states to live in? We you do our decide. job. We do our job from anywhere. We should just. What are we doing here? I had someone in the housewives world telling me that she wants to buy a place in Vegas with me, and uh, she had a whole plan. We're gonna drive there. That's where we should move is Vegas. And then, and, and we're still gonna live here. And I'm like, honey, they count the days in. She's like, okay, well, we're going to just spend cash when we're in LA, just cash. So we'll never know you're here. I'm like, okay, we're not going to have a tax fraud scheme here. And we're not going to Vegas even two days. So thank you for the option to invest in this feature with you. I'm going to pass. I moved to Vegas with you. Well, guess what? You won't pay any fucking income tax there. We'll hang out with Perez. My boy, uh, my boy, he is loving it. My boy, um, Ashley Parker Angel from O-Town, who's on this podcast, lives there. Lots of people live in Vegas. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Have you ever tried to get Mark Wahlberg on your show? He's an interesting uh, character. No, but I'll take him. But I'll Our be friend, honest with you. I'm going to retire in Palm Beach and not pay tax before I retire in Vegas. But unfortunately, I'm in LA and New York for the rest of my life. So love California, though. I love Hollywood. It's great love everything. Here. I know. It's I wish they were here. more business friendly, but- and they one are. day you were living in D.C. and here you are. Best movie oh, you ever baby, made, Oh, baby, right girl. under the Hollywood side. I love Hollywood. I love everything about it. The people. Me too. The, I just, there's something about, if you're I in love the entertainment it. business, it's just Hollywood is so fabulous. And everyone it's like a playground. Dream. It's just, it, it's, yeah, and it's, you got to be realistic. I mean, because you see people every day where the dream didn't come true and the dream came true. And you've got to, you know. Got to always got to try. You got to give it your all, but you got to be realistic. Like if it doesn't work out, it's something better for you and you got to keep going with it. But it's unfortunate. A lot of people have big dreams and big almost do it and they don't. And then that ruins them. You can't. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would hate to be sitting here doing this podcast, moving here with this dream at 20, 24, <gasps> 27. I, I would have been miserable. I would have been miserable here. Now I don't want nothing from no one. Just keep them, just keep the mic on for tonight. I'm, I'm open so for opportunities, by the way, but I'm not, there's no dreams I'm chasing. I would have been dead. i the dream of getting, yeah, I, I think I would. I would have been dead from Coke and dang. I don't, I probably, I definitely probably would have had AIDS. I would have slept with everyone. I love older rich men. Coke so, I've never um, done, but I think I would have slept with like everyone, even more than now. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, love, I, I agree. I always tell people move to Hollywood when you're 40. There's no better time. And the thing that I think is the biggest misconception about Hollywood is you think it's just a city for young people. They're the only one. Yeah. And here you realize whether it's stand up comedy or production or editing or on camera, people of all ages are working and working at high levels and making a living. 